Infective endocarditis is an infection of the inner lining of the heart chambers and valves, typically caused by bacteria or fungi. It is characterized by the formation of vegetations, which are clumps of infected material that attach to the heart valves. These vegetations can impair cardiac output and may embolize. Risk factors for developing infective endocarditis include congenital heart disease, prosthetic heart valves, intravenous drug use, and dental procedures that introduce bacteria into the bloodstream. Cardiovascular symptoms of infective endocarditis include new or changing heart murmurs, tachycardia, arrhythmias, and new signs of heart failure. Generalized symptoms of infection may occur, such as fever, chills, night sweats, fatigue, and joint pain. Infective endocarditis is associated with distinctive skin manifestations like eye, splinter hemorrhages, Osler's nodes, Janeway lesions, and Roth spots. If vegetation embolizes and travels to the brain or lungs, symptoms such as altered mental status, slurred speech, or shortness of breath may occur. Diagnostic tests focus on identifying the causative organism using blood cultures. Echocardiography is used to visualize vegetations on heart valves and assess valve function. Additional tests like complete blood cell counts and C-reactive protein levels may also be used to determine the presence of systemic infection and inflammation. Treatment of infective endocarditis typically includes prolonged intravenous antibiotic therapy to eradicate the infection. If significant structural damage to heart valves occurs due to the vegetation, surgical interventions such as debridement of vegetation, valve repair, or valve replacement may be necessary. Nurses play a vital role in monitoring for potential complications like sepsis, embolic events, and acute heart failure. Analgesics are administered as needed for comfort and health teaching, is provided on topics such as long-term antibiotic compliance, PIC line care, and the importance of follow-up care. The overall goals for treating infective endocarditis include maintaining good cardiac output, preventing sepsis, and ensuring effective tissue perfusion. These outcomes are measured by indicators such as stable vital signs and quick capillary refill time. Continuous evaluation of the effectiveness of treatment is essential, with adjustments made as needed based on the client's response to treatment.